They're cowards. They're all cowards. They won't do anything to save the lives of our children at all. Cowards. Pressure them. Force them to respond to the question. Why the hell won't you do anything to save America's children? And let them explain that all the way up until election day of 2024. Let them explain it all the way up to election day. We don't negotiate with terrorists globally. Why are we going to negotiate with the economic terrorists here? No more debt ceiling <laughs> nonsense. Come on no, now. No, save no, the party. No, we gotta save, save America. The save the Biden. children. Save the Do country. something about guns. Right. So close Come the on. Border. Invest in close education. The border. Save the, the border is, the border is what Trump children? left. Hey, where are all the about? kids? Where are all the migrant what children? Kids? You guys We're love them. We're accepting them. We love no, them. You've lost we them. love the migrant children. We've been lost them. You can't find them. What are you talking about? Yeah, migrant children are missing. No, no, we don't know the news. I don't know. That's Fox News. That's Fox News. Listen, I need you to save the party. I love Jamal Bowman getting into these debates outside of Congress or in the hallways. As I said earlier in the show, I'm calling him the principal now. He's walking the hallways, straighten out the kids, okay? And I love that he started on, and in fact, in that entire clip, he brought up issue after issue, policy issues, right? So, and mainly about, He's fighting back on the issue of gun control. So that's terrific. And the main reason that he's having to do that is because there are no actual debates inside Congress. They're cowards. They're all cowards. They won't do anything to save the lives of our children at all. Cowards. Pressure them. Force them to respond to the question. Why the hell won't you do anything to save America's children? And let them explain that all the way up until election day of 2024. Let them explain it all the way up to election day of 2024. They're freaking cowards. They're not here. I'm talking about gun violence. You know, there's never been. I'm talking about gun violence. In a school that allows teachers to carry. Oh my God. Carry guns? We think more guns lead to more death. More guns lead to more death. More guns lead to more death. Look at the data. You're not looking at any data. You're, you're, you're carrying the water for the gun lobby. For the first time in like 40 years, I'm seeing Democrats fight back. It's shocking, absolutely shocking. I couldn't believe it when I saw this video. But I'll take it, I'll take it, that's fantastic. God, it's, we're like a, a person dying of thirst in the desert and this is an oasis. Finally, somebody fight back. For 40 straight years, I've seen Democrats, Stanley Hoyer type of person come and go, whoa, 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 whoa. And the Democrats go, oh, okay, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Don't, Thomas Massey, I'm not begging you, I'm so sorry. And but Jamal stood his ground, yes. I called on the president to invoke the 14th Amendment and mint a coin and do not negotiate with hostage takers. I mean, we don't negotiate with terrorists globally. Why are we going to negotiate with the economic terrorists here that are the Republican Party? Go, Jamal Bowman, go. Uh, love it, um, here for it. That's exactly what we sent progressives to Congress for. By the way, another uh, positive sign. In the old days, if Jamal Bowman had said that, in old days as in like, let's say 10 years ago, just to be safe, the world would have collapsed in on him. That's true. Uh, it, all of the Democrats would have gone on TV and denounced them. And they would have said, oh, we love our Republican colleagues so much more than we like Jamal Bowman. <laughs> He's evil and I can't believe it. We all have to protect the Republicans. That's what Democrats would have said. That's what they've said my whole life. But in this case, they didn't. Okay, we're making progress. There you go, progressives, take the fight to them. And it's a different era. So, and by the way, there, if you didn't notice, I'm actually giving credit to the centrist Democrats too for not attacking Jamal Bowman for saying things that are true, okay? So I know it's damning with faint praise, but I'll take it.